Psalm 30, verse 5. For his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. Mornings are naturally joyful. Think of the ideal morning. The sun is shining, the birds are singing. People are looking restful and joyful and friendly. It is a new beginning. There's a new hope. Each morning is a new chance to start again and, and do better. The dawn of a new day awakens us to life, all its meaning and to love. And yet there's sin, ours and other people's sin. And where there's sin, there's trouble. We experience something like the wrath of God that the psalmist speaks about. Is God really angry with us? Isn't anger a sin? Is it a figure of speech? Or it just seems so because of our guilty conscience and the consequences of sin in this world of ours, this fallen world of ours. Imagine it like the anger of a father who is upset. He's upset with his children. And why is he upset? He's upset because he wants them to be happy and healthy and they want them to live. There's something parallel to anger, something that is properly divine that has to do with the fact that God is disappointed with sin and because there's a need for discipline. Why? Because of his love. He seems angry for a minute, but his love is forever. He seems angry for a while, but his favor is for a lifetime, says the psalmist. His anger is due to sin, but his love for all sinners is unfailing. He's upset with sin because he loves us. Weeping and sadness are features of the night, of the night of the soul. Because we are fearful and frightened. We have no knowledge of God's love and we have no knowledge of God's favor for a lifetime when we are experiencing the night, the night of the soul, we are terrified of predators, both real and imagined. But then the day comes, the day comes and the sun shines in. The soul is freed from its fear, from its dread, from its terror from its uncertainty, from its loneliness, because now the soul is one with God in Christ. Now the soul knows, for it is awake. It knows that God is love, that his favor is for a lifetime. And this is why it rejoices. It rejoices in this new morning of the soul. 
like Paul says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 8 to 10. And I read, since we belong to the day, let us be sober, putting on faith and love as a breastplate and the hope of salvation as a helmet. For God did not appoint us to suffer wrath, but to receive salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. He died for us so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live together with him, that we may live and that we may live together with him. Faith and love are part of our armor. They are our breastplate and the hope of salvation is our helmet. God will take care of us whether we are awake or asleep. In Proverbs 4.18, we learn that it is a process. The, the wisdom of the Proverbs teach us the path of the righteous is like the morning sun, shining ever brighter till the full light of day. We hope for the full light of day, but we can already experience the first rays of the sun, the sun that shines bright upon the children of God. It will be a glorious morning, and this is why we rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say, rejoice. Have a great day. God bless you.